hello and welcome to my channel my name is Marlies Marley Design and today I will do a new video and I will use again one of my backgrounds that I have created in one of my last videos and the video was all about how to make backgrounds and do some techniques with the Tim Holtz Distress Crayons so yeah this was one of my backgrounds but yeah then what what are you going to do with all these backgrounds that we created from this little piece of paper I will make two side tabs with a paper clip in it so you can attach it on the side of your journal or a mini book you can see I already folded my paper in half that is step one I have also cut a piece of black cardstock and the black cardstock is just slightly bigger than this piece of paper but before I will glue the paper clip and the black paper and this piece of paper together I would like to make this paper a little bit more interesting so let's start I have put my surface media mat from Tim Holtz on my table and my paper is on top this stamp set is the first item that I'm going to use to create a little bit more interest in the background of my paper this set is called Dapper CMS 267 with the stamp set I will use my archival ink ground espresso The stamping is done but I also would like to add a little bit more grunge to the paper. I will do that by adding a bit of Distress Grit Paste Opaque. I have let my grit paste dry so now my paper is ready for the next step I will put some Distress Oxide Spray Lost Shadow on my craft sheet and then dip my paper into the color You can see I still have product left and I do not want to waste that so I'm going back in with this splatter brush and I will splatter the color on top of my paper. Okay so my last shadow is dry and my last shadow splatters are dry. I want to add a bit more color to create contrast because yeah this is very brown this is very white-ish and I want to create more color on top of the grid paste I will first do that with the Distress Paint Scorched Timber and my Tim Holtz Small Brayer Before I cut the paper into two pieces I want to add a white splatter and I will do that with the Distress Paint Picket Fence. Right now I have two pieces of the black cardstock, slightly bigger than our decorated paper, also two pieces. On the black cardstock I would like some rough edges and I will do that with my Tim Holtz paper distressor. Now that my basic papers are ready I am also looking for something that could go on top of these cards as an embellishment. 
I will cut out some of the numbers from this Thinlitz die set from Sizzix and Tim Holtz. The number of this die set is 665924. I will cut out some of the numbers, the larger ones, but also the smaller ones. I will cut them out out of a leftover piece of black cardstock. But first I would like to try to give this paper a little bit more color and a bit of grunge. So let's play! Right now my cut numbers are glued onto the papers and what I can see that the treatment that I gave these numbers by spraying my black cardstock, right now it is different from the cardstock that will go behind the papers, so I want it to be the same. So what I did on this black cardstock I will repeat on this black cardstock. So I will spray with the Lost Shadow Oxide Spray, then I will spray with the Distress Oxide Spray Scorched Timber. And then the final step is that I will brayer on a bit of Distress Paint Black Suit. On these papers I am missing a little bit of black in the background, so I got out this stamp set from Tim Holtz. It is called Shattered CMS 466. And I will stamp with my archival ink a black suit. The top cards are ready, so now I have put on a paper clip uh, exactly in the middle of the fold of the black paper. Only thing left to do to attach these two together is to glue them. I will not glue them exactly on top of each other. I will leave a piece of paper on the left side so we can add something on there like lace or ribbon or a piece of fabric. Our little project for today is done. I have added um, some leftover piece of fabric with some leftover piece of thread and I've just simply stapled it down on the overlapping piece of paper. I also added the black strip of paper underneath the numbers, but I totally forgot to, yeah, you know, to color it like I did with the numbers and like I did with the backing paper. So it is just black. But there is nothing else I can do about it because it's already glued on there and yeah, going back in with sprays on such a small area is very difficult. So I will leave it as is and I do not think it is that disturbing. To demonstrate I have put a file folder in front of me so I can slide those side tabs onto the file folder so you can see. I think these sliding side tabs will work beautifully in a grungy journal. So if you have like a journal with a lot of stains and a lot of uh, paint splatters and everything like that, this would be a perfect match for the sides of your pages.
I also think it is wonderful that even if you have the smallest piece of paper, because our starting point, the paper, wasn't that big, that you can create, you can still create, those beautiful little extras, embellishments for your journal. I had a great time today. I also hope you liked my video, got some inspiration out of it, and yeah, that you would like to try it yourself. Of course, when you do make something, after you have watched one of my videos, and you want to post it on your socials, please feel free, I would love it, if you would tag me, so I can leave a comment, or give a thumbs up or a like. With that being said, this video is coming to an end. I will put all my links for all the materials that I have used in the description box below. In the description box, you can also find all my other links for my social accounts, a link for my Etsy store, where I sell my digital kits, and a link to my coffee shop, if you would like to buy me a coffee. And I really want to give a shout out to all of you, my followers, who are supporting me by liking my posts and videos, sharing them with your creative friends, and leaving me the most wonderful and lovely comments. Thank you for everything, and have an amazing day! Bye!